Hello dear students. Today we are going to see the question answers of lesson number 20 all about glass from our English Bal Bharti textbook. So take out your pen, pencil, notebooks and be ready. Here we go with the exercise 1 of the lesson. Write the date, write lesson number 20 all about glass. Question 1. Find the following list from the passage and copy them. First is everyday things made of glass. So the answer for everyday things made from glass in the passages light bulbs, jars, reading glasses, window panes, bottles, glasses and marbles. You can see it is written one below the other. You can write it in one, one in front of the other or just give commas. See that you don't use lots of space and waste the page. So after you complete this. Second list which we have to find from the lesson is, here it is. What can you do with hot liquid glass? We can do the following things with hot liquid glass. Pour it, mold it, roll it, press it or blow it. So these are the different kinds of things which you can do with hot liquid glass. Pouring like we pour water, mold is how we mold the clay, roll is we roll the chapati, Press it, we press something like ironing and blow is how we blow the balloon. So all these things we can do with the hot liquid glass to give it a proper shape as we want. And then the articles which we see around are ready for us. After this, the third list which they are asking is name of the colors. Names of the colors mentioned in the passage. So following are the names of the colors mentioned. Blue violet, turkish, ruby red, pink, amber, orange, deep yellow, purple, amethyst, dark green, black and white. Now what you have to do after you write this blue, just take a blue color crayon and make a small circle of blue, then turkish, then pink and simply in front of all the colors use the same color crayon and make small circles so you understand the colors also and it will look very pretty and beautiful. Now let's go to the next question. Exercise number two. Guess the meanings of the following words from the passage. First one. Molten. A state up to which a solid substance on heating flows like liquid. So when the solid becomes liquid it is called as molten. Second is transparent. A substance that allows us to see through. Like you cannot see through a piece of wood but you can see through a piece of glass that is called as transparent. After you complete these two, let's go to the next one. We have finished the first two. Now the third one, impermeable. Impermeable means a substance that does not allow a liquid or a gas to pass through it means it cannot escape. If you fill something in it, it is not going to flow away. Second, The next one is fourth impart to transfer or pass on to something impart. Next is recyclable a thing that can be recycled that is a thing that can be used again and again and again means it is called as recyclable. Okay, plastic is not recyclable. That's why it is harming us and the environment. Now let's go to the next question. Number three, write short notes on the following. First one, how glass is made? Answer, glass is made by heating a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime. The mixture is heated in a furnace till it turns into hot liquid glass. So this is how a glass is made. We have seen it in the lesson, the videos and the explanation. Copy the question answer and then we will move to the next question. So it is a mixture of clean white sand and chemicals like soda and lime. Now let's go to the second question. Question number two. How glass is shaped? Glass is brittle. Hence, it is shaped into different articles only when it is hot and soft. First of all, brittle means it breaks easily. That's why if we have to give it any shape, it is done when it is 
very very hot and soft very hot glass is more like a liquid and hence can be easily poured molded rolled pressed and blown to make a variety of shapes so we can do anything with the hot liquid glass and give it a desired shape as we want now let's move to the next question question number 3 name some properties of glass glass has many useful properties they are as follows first one glass is transparent it means we can see through it second one it is strong and hard we can put a lot of load on it next it is impermeable means it does not allow water or other liquid to pass through it okay so these are the three we'll see some more but keep in mind first one it is transparent it is strong and hard and it is impermeable though it is strong and hard it is brittle also like if you throw it it is going to break fourth point it has no effect on water or food material stored in it that is it does not smell or taste or it does not change its smell or taste whatever it is it will be safe in the glass jar or glass bottle fifth one it has a smooth surface and hence can be washed easily and the last important point it looks beautiful i don't know about you but i really like glass articles a lot i like glass plates glasses made from glass even spoons made from glass it looks so beautiful and pretty and attractive so after you complete this let's move to question number 4 colored glass ordinary glass is colorless means simple one that is transparent but it is possible to produce colored glass and transparent glass by using different combinations of chemicals in the glass making process glasses can be given many beautiful colors so we saw that white sand lime and soda makes transparent glass but if we want it to be colored ones so there is a different combination of chemicals using different chemicals we can make colorful glass and that also looks just awesome so there are different colors which we can make of the glasses like blue violet turkish ruby red pink amber orange deep yellow purple amethyst dark green and even black and white so there is a huge range of the colors which can be available for colored glass next question number 4 find out how paper and plastic are recycled so first we'll write the recycling of paper paper is also recyclable okay the process of paper recycling involves collection of waste papers and then mixing it with water and chemicals to chemically break it down first these papers are chopped means cut and heated so that they get converted to strands of cellulose this mixture is also called as pulp or slurry it is then filtered and to remove the impurities washed deinked bleached and mixed with water this can then be used to make new papers so the notebooks which you finish up writing all these papers can be recycled the newspapers which we read everything they just collect it and then they wash it then they heat it they break it down they deink it deink means all the ink which is there on them that is removed and then new papers are made now we'll see recycling of plastic before recycling the plastics they are collected and sorted based on their color and types they are shredded and washed to eliminate any impurities the material is melted and extruded into small pellets it is small by mistake it is a there make it small these small pellets are then used to make other plastic materials but plastic is really very dangerous for us and the environment so we should not use plastic much we can use paper bags cloth bags but avoid using plastic 
it can also be recycled but it is not that easy so this is the process of recycling plastic copy all the question answers notes down neatly in the notebook and then let's meet again for a new class with a new topic something new to learn exciting by then take care see you keep studying and prepare yourselves as the exams are appearing soon bye have a great day ahead thank you